everybody, it's Rich here at RV Unplugged in Florida, and I'm with Matt and Mandy Dove. I'm kind of blown away that you kind of scared us because the first <laughs> drive, you know, it was seemed pretty cautious. You were hanging on oh, the window. I was so scared. And then all of the people on the behind the cameras had a heart attack because you were like going really fast. And they raced their motorhome around the racetrack, and it was fast. If you would have seen our faces, we were all like, like thinking that they were going to crash into a wall. What's up with that? And <laughs> and did you just all of a sudden have super confidence, or how did it feel? with the before drive and the after drive on that track last night so in the very beginning it was really weird driving a, a motorhome on a racetrack for one and so the first couple times around it really i had to ease into it get the feel for it and then i wanted to seriously find out just how hard it would be if something jumped out in front of me on the highway like bigfoot <laughs> Yeah, a, a yeah. big foot, yeah, or you know, a dog or a deer. A, a a deer. deer. We have uh, a lot of deer in the hill country. Someone yes. slams on the brakes. You got to be able to jump over to the next lane, and that's what you know we tried to to simulate. Right. And on the before the the upgrade happened, it shook everything. Yeah. So my cabinets <laughs> came apart. I got thrown up against a, the side window. Um, Todd got thrown from our couch into the floor. It. It was a very scary situation yeah. that I informed him we would not do again. <laughs> <laughs> no, just to give people context, we don't encourage people to drive crazy like that. No. We call that an emergency lane uh, changing uh, position. So we, like you just said, if a deer jumped out and you had to make a lane change, could your RV handle it? And and how would you react? Because that all that sway and stuff, is it scary? It is scary. And, uh, so you've obviously handled it quite well after those parts were put on. Oh, and so after the parts got put on, oh, on. It, it didn't even shake. Yeah. And we, we're still here at the, oh. in, in Florida, and there's uh, bikes going by and stuff like that, <laughs> so forgive us for the noise. But, yes. but, yeah, you definitely handled it well. So I wanted to kind of dig in because when you guys did that challenge, there was so much chaos going on. We didn't really have a time to talk about each product. So I briefly want to talk about each thing. And I will talk about okay. first uh, the Safety Plus that you had put on. Now, the Safety Plus, if you don't know, is it's a steering control. And it's called Safety Plus Other Things. And the first thing it does is if your tire were to blow out, it's going to help your tires go straight down the road. Right? And so that will keep you tracking straight. And then, of course, it helps with uh, pushing of wind and stuff like that because you've got that assist and return to center on that coach. So that's that blue safety plus on the board. Right. Okay. And the other thing we put on it was a, a round of Coney shocks. Yes. Evo shocks. The, yeah, the Coney Evo shocks. And, and you they, definitely felt a, a sway control with that. Didn't oh, you? absolutely. Yes. It didn't bounce or rock and, yeah, anything like it did before. Right. Yeah. And uh, so those those shocks really helped with that. We also had a rear auxiliary sway bar that was put on. It was blue by Roadmaster. And that's an additional to the sway bar that came from Ford. And, and, and I always say this about Fords. You have a, a V8, and the V10s before that, they didn't have a two-inch sway bar from the factory. And so they added that later, and that just goes to show you that even from the manufacturer side, they knew there was a sway problem with this. But having that additional sway bar in the rear really helped control that as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, when I, when I did the emergency lane shift <laughs> with the sway bar and the Coney shocks and the Safety Plus steer, it was just as easy as doing it in a Jeep or yes. a pickup truck. Just you have a nice Jeep here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, and I think one of the things I noticed as well was on the drive down here, I kept asking Matt, like, why are you constantly moving the wheel? Like, we why don't it, you... Like, seesawing at you. Yes, I was like, why, why are yeah. you having to do that? And he said, because there's so much play, mm -hmm. it is so difficult to, to keep it centered and to keep it steady. And after I drove it for a little while, I realized what he was saying. It was very difficult to just hold on to the wheel and not make that seesaw effect. Where afterwards, I noticed when he was driving yeah. around the track, there was a lot of Very less little. Of I mean, it's not completely that's gone. That's very, very little. good segue. It's almost like we scripted this, but we didn't. <laughs> what, we did. what, you, what you experienced was we, what, a thing called we call tail wag. As okay. your coach is getting, your rear end is getting pushed by wind and different things. You're having to compensate up front for that. And so what we put on your coach was a rear track bar. It locks down the rear end of your coach so you don't get any more of that seesawing at the front of the wheel. 
and uh, and it controls that. So you're going to feel a lot more responsive steering. And then in addition to that, we had radius rods put on the front. And that also, because of that spring eye bushing moving back and forth as you're driving, you're having to compensate for that movement. And that's locked down. So you'll have like precision, tight steering. And I don't recommend it. You know, one finger driving. You'll definitely have a lot more control up front. So right. I'm just looking forward to you guys' drive yes. back home. And oh, I'm really too. excited about you. So you, as a woman driver, a lot of women don't, and it's not a sexist thing, but they don't feel comfortable. You're looking forward to driving now. I am looking forward to driving. I've always loved driving. I, I've taken road trips by myself before and after we got married. Um, I love the open road. And that is the reason we picked this particular vehicle. We went with a 30 foot instead of a 40 foot or something mm. because I wanted to feel comfortable driving. Yep. And so I told him after we got done on the racetrack that I would be driving home <laughs> part of the way. Um, hey, I'll make all the sandwiches. <laughs> and he can make all the sandwiches and cook <laughs> breakfast it. for it. I so it. That is so awesome. Well, it is a big rig. It's not like driving this Jeep. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very big rig on, the, on there. And it's intimidating for a lot of people. Uh, because there's no, you don't need a CDL to go from the Jeep to this thing. Correct. And so having those parts on there can give you that confidence. And, and one of our, our motto is safer and happier driving. Yes. It's kind of hard to have a happy drive if it doesn't feel safe when you're driving. Yes. It. Right. So it's both That's of right. those things. Yes. Awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure watching you guys behind the scenes. We're not going to give anything away yet. you got to keep it, it secret. <laughs> because it's still happening right now. But uh, it's just been a pleasure to work with you guys and be able to add some value to you. And you'll be able to enjoy your travels in the future. So uh, yes, we sure you. appreciate everything that y'all have done and coming out of your way and, and come to Florida to help us it's a little bit of drive from Oregon. Yeah. yeah, we thought we had a long drive until <laughs> yeah, you. But yes, we appreciate that. And we we just appreciate the staff at Henderson lineup and, and your safety steer department. They have answered all of our questions and helped me to understand what was going on our coach so that I feel like I am comfortable driving it and knowing what parts are on there. So thank you from a female perspective yeah. um, of informing me and educating me as well as my husband through awesome. this. Absolutely. All right, guys. We appreciate well, thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you so Those much. Thank you, and thank sir. you for watching this. Thanks, guys. Keep, keep connected to RV Unplugged to watch the whole season. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach to, out to us at supersteerparts.com. Until we see you in another video or on the road, we wish you safer and happier drive. Help me, Tom Cruise! Help me! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! <laughs>